Hi, I'm Johnny with Balloon Animals Palm Beach, and today I'm going to show you how to make a hippopotamus balloon. You will need two Mocha 260s, one Mocha 6 inch heart, and one white 5 inch round. Grab your Mocha 6 inch heart and inflate it so you have about nine, maybe ten fingers of inflated balloon. So it's just slightly bigger than my hand and you're just starting to see the two rounded humps. Uh, it would probably take at least two more pumps to get it fully inflated. Grab your Mocha 260 and inflate it so you have about an eight finger tail. Now you're going to take the nozzle of your 260 and you're going to tie it to the nozzle of your heart balloon. So they are attached. Make a pinch twist in the 260 balloon. Make a three finger bubble. Make a pinch twist. So this is what you have so far. Make a two finger loop. Make a three finger bubble. Make a pinch twist, make another two finger loop, same size as this one. Make a three finger bubble, same size as the one you started with. Now you're going to wrap that twist back into the first pinch twist that you made. So that's what you have so far. That's the two ears and the face in the snout. Now we're going to make a four finger bubble. Make a second four finger bubble, same size as the first one. Wrap that into the pinch twist. Make an eight finger bubble. Make a pinch twist and get rid of the extra. Tie that off. All right. So this is the two front legs. The pinch twist is under the heart. The head and ears are coming out above that. This will be the body. Grab your next Mocha 260 and inflate it so you have about an eight finger tail. Make a two finger bubble. Now you're gonna wrap that twist into the pinch twist at the back of the body. Make a four finger bubble. Make another four finger bubble. So now you have the back legs and the front legs, the little tail. What we're gonna do is bring this balloon towards the front where the head is and wrap it in. Then bring it back, wrap it into the pinch twist by the tail. Then bring it towards the front, wrap it in at the head. Now you're just gonna bring it back one last time and wrap it into the pinch twist at the back. If you want to tie that off, you can, uh, or cut it off. I'm just going to tuck it in the body, the little tail I have left, I tucked it in the body. So you have five bubbles all together for the body, two on the bottom and three across the back. There's the front, side, back, that's the bottom, top. We're going to add some eyes, so grab your white five inch round and inflate it so you have about three fingers of inflated balloon. We're going to twist that into two equal bubbles. And make sure you can reach the, the nozzle of the balloon because we're going to take that <laughs> we're going to take that nozzle and we're going to push it through this the hole in the triangle triangular shape that makes up the face here. Dang it. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna pull that tail through the front of the head, out the back, and wrap it into the neck and body area. Okay, so that is the hippo. You, when you have the pinch twist underneath the heart, it keeps the head up because the eyes are gonna push it down. And I put the pinch twist in the back to keep not just the loops in place for the ears, but it pushes the ears forward a little bit. Um, so they're really kind of prominent. And you gotta have a little table tail because remember, <laughs> hippopotamuses, hippopotami, hippopotamuses, I don't remember, they, spread their feces around as much as possible by spinning their tail while they poop. And that's a very important part of their behavior. Um, and all the little kids really care about that, so. <laughs> Nobody's gonna watch my videos ever again. Let's do the artwork. Use black Sharpie and start with the eyes. Just a big circle with a little circle inside of it. Color in. And arc for the eyebrow. Other eye, big circle with a little circle inside of it, color in. Now, on the snout, nostril, other nostril, and then the mouth. I like to make the mouth a little wavy. I don't know why. Tusks. And dots for all their whiskers. white Sharpie paint pen to color in the tusks. And that's the hippopotamus balloon. That's it in mocha. My friend prefers gray. I do a blush heart um, with gray when I do it in gray. But I have had some little kids ask for pink hippos and purple hippos. I do the blush because I don't have a purple heart. By the way, I don't have a gray heart, which is why I do the blush on that too. So, um, and these, this one's a little old, so it's shriveling up. And you can even do an albino hippo, although I do it with blue eyes um, instead of red eyes because <laughs> you don't get a lot of repeat business if you frighten the children. I don't know why. <laughs> So uh, I've got hippos for days. Anyways, feel free to subscribe to my channel um, or <laughs> because I do release videos on a regular basis and um, you can leave me comments or feedback below. What's your favorite color of hippo? What would you make? And also, do you have gray hearts and purple hearts and where are you getting them? Because clearly I need a new supplier if I'm not getting them. And I really want a black heart. Um, I haven't found any black cinch, six inch hearts, so let me know if you know where to get those by leaving me a comment or feedback below. Or you can check me out on Instagram or Facebook or my website, Balloon Animals Palm Beach.